Well, the water might be dirty for you, little kitty, but it may contain a few microscopic species like phytoplankton that played a crucial role in creating complex life like you here on Earth. Indeed. Hey friends, let me take you to the tiny world of these tiny species and explain the huge role they played in our evolution by answering a vital question. Why does our life depend on phytoplankton? Zoom in! Phytoplankton is derived from the Greek words where phyto stands for plant and plankton means wanderer or drifter. And as the name suggests, phytoplankton are microscopic plants that are drifted by the tides of their fresh or salty water habitats. They are largely invisible to the naked eye. But if you look through a microscope, you'll see that they come in three types, namely bacteria, protists and single-celled plants. Amongst them, the most common ones are species like cyanobacteria, diatoms, green algae, and chalk-coated coccolithophores. Though most of their species are less than one inch small, they play a huge role in the oceanic food chain and life on Earth. Yes, these microbes are the primary producers and serve as food for everything from tiny, animal-like zooplankton to giant whales. Even small fish and invertebrates also feed on these plant-like organisms and in turn, these smaller aquatic animals are eaten by larger ones. Not only that, Plankton also plays a vital role at the end of the food web as decomposers in the form of bacteria, fungi and worms that break down and consume dead plant and animal material that falls through the water column as marine snow. On top of that, just like terrestrial plants, phytoplankton have chlorophyll to capture sunlight and they use photosynthesis to turn this light into energy to support them. And in this process, they take up carbon dioxide and release life-supporting oxygen into the water as a waste byproduct. And you won't believe it, they generate about half the atmosphere's oxygen as much per year as all terrestrial plants. And because of this phytoplankton's enriching quality, many scientists believe that these tiny creatures helped in the formation of complex life on Earth. Yes, that is because around 2.5 billion years ago, the Earth looked way different than today. With green oceans and an orange sky, and even the atmosphere lacked enough level of oxygen and had an ample amount of methane and ammonia, which is not suitable for complex living beings like us. But around 800 million years ago, some phytoplanktons evolved and pumped out enough oxygen in what's now called the Great Oxidation Event. All this oxygen eventually turned the ocean and sky blue and allowed the complex life to develop in water and subsequently on land. And even today, even a small decline in the population of these microbes could have a significant influence on biodiversity, fisheries and the human food supply and can speed up global warming. So, in short, the credit for our existence goes to these tiny microbes and we should be forever thankful to them. Trivia time! Did you know that certain species of phytoplankton produce powerful biotoxins that can be fatal for marine life and people who eat contaminated seafood? 
Also, the bacteria that decompose the phytoplankton deplete the oxygen in the water, suffocating marine life in the process. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind.